Right. And what brand are these new wires? Import. Import. It's upgraded V twin stuff. They said they made new stuff. <laughs> Spark plugs are hard to come by these days because they don't make them anymore. Yeah. These NGKs are not available anymore, mm -hmm. except mm -hmm. old inventory. Yeah, NGKs never let me down. I run them on so my they, jab um, stuff. These are non-resistor spark plugs. Everybody makes resistor plugs now. They don't make non-resistor plugs. So, mm. And of course, they say it's a direct replacement by putting them in there. Right. Wrong. So these should be gapped about 30, or less than 30, so about 28. 28. This one here is... 26s. 28. A little bit. 28. Oops. Make sure your cap's tight. They'll loosen up on you anyway. Okay, yeah. So these will give us some new plugs that are better than what you got. These will also stick in the motor a little bit further. So. Hmm. These are half inch reach. So stick all the way in there, but not too far. <clears throat> Three eighths is short. Seven sixteenths is the correct way. They don't make a seven sixteenths. These things here are surprised they haven't built it already. Probably because it's got. Oh yeah, there it is. Let me, zo let me zoom. Melts away. Yep. Wherever it touches the heat, it just melts. Originals were uh, cloth wrap, right? It's depending. Not for this year. Not 53. Um, I think the 48 was cloth wrapped. Right? These, I think, are probably some kind of rubberized material. Okay. 40s definitely were. I don't know. Post war, they, they learned how to make better materials. Right. Okay, see all this fancy stuff here? We don't use this. <laughs> Because we use this. And we don't know the short length we need, so we're just duplicate it. So we're just gonna go and cut this thing off and find out what we need. Now hopefully it'll go into coil without too much effort, but let's find out. Always a little longer to be safe. These are our seven millimeter wire. Okay, good they do go in. Nice. Each one I go in the same so. A little bit. Okay. So when you look at these wires, see how white, bright white plasticky that looks? These ones don't look nearly that much brightness to right. them. That's how you identify them pretty quickly. Real rubber in there. These are copper core like this one is too, so they're both copper. Hmm. It says on the outside copper. Seven millimeter. That means it works on point ignitions. If it says suppression on it, it's no good. It's so good. Okay, now this one here is gonna be on the long side, this is good. Okay, now we gotta fish this thing back through somehow. Got it. There's a bracket up in there, I'm assuming, under that gas tank that we can't see. Hmm. Everything at once, that's how I do it. <laughs> Put the plug in, put that in. Well, I gotta figure out what you wanna do here. I mean, I like leaving the wires where you can get to them easily. <clears throat> so there should be a bracket up under there. Yep. I was pulling on something, but not what I wanted to be pulling on, I guess. Uh oh. It doesn't go to that hole. Uh, with my flashlight. I don't see it. There's supposed to be a little bracket up there to hold things.
They didn't put the bracket in there. Good. Well, that means it just rattles around up in there. All right. Well, that's all right too. Good thing I didn't shorten that wire up anymore. Huh? Leave it nice and long, and look how much it better fits. Right. You now it's above the rocker box. It's not on a motor mount. No, on the mount. <coughs> We're up in the front here. We can pull it on and off easier. So I'm thinking that's probably good right there. Well, I'll probably be a little long, but yeah, let's just see what we want to do with this thing. Probably short about an inch. Clear as go. Flush. We've got plenty of room to get a plug wire out. It's tucked way up in there so it's not rubbing on anything that matters. And originally there was a bracket in the middle, huh? Yeah. yeah. Must have robbed this here. We don't, don't put this one back in. <laughs> <laughs> Save them as backup or something. I don't think they're even good for that much. <laughs> Got Allen bolts in there for kind of late model crap. Is that all about? We have mm. X bolts in there. What's up with that? Gotta ask the guy who restored it. He's, he's, got it he's on dead. It. You're the guy that worked on it last. Got yeah. Him. No, he he did it all. He built. He rebuilt the motor. He did the trans. Uh, I should have put that inch into here. So. But long enough but no extra. Yeah, that'll work. And no extra room. Alright, that'll work. Now if you just leave them like that they'll probably fall out. Right. These are supposed to go down and interfere on something important. Sometimes they do. of an inch off of this or so. Make that good contact. We'll get some raw wire sticking up there a little bit. Right. Of course it didn't cut very even. Figures. You videotaping? Yes. Uh -oh. <laughs> well I want to give you some feedback. On what? Breath. Is it hotter? Much cooler. Good. It's normally 86 in there right now. Mm -hmm. It is just a little bit above 80. Yeah, big difference. White roof versus black roof. Yeah. A big difference, yep. Huge difference. I painted my house a uh, light blue, huge difference. Before it was just dark uh, brown wood. Oh. Some of the craziest summers. And this is Ramona, where it's like oh, 107 yeah, right now. Yeah, I just went through that. <laughs> you know, the worst place is uh, what's that place called? Because we're so famous. Uh, Arizona. Baker. No, no, no. Oh, Baker. The H. It's not even the H. It's, it's up to 15. How far from here? They have a helicopter. Uh, Skydiving. Right now, 13. Hemet. Uh, Well, it gets hot out there too, yeah, Hemet. It's one place. Every time we go through there, it's like it's, the heat. It's just it's like being in the oven. It's just and there's no even with the breeze from the bike. It's so fucking hot. It's Baker. Yeah. Oh, yeah. God, you're on video. Yes, yes, you're on video. We're supposed to be working on motorcycles here, not talking about. You know. Yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, I feel. The, pretty the worst heat though, Arizona. I lived there for a year. And came straight back. I have a friend who lives in Arizona. Well, I have a few. Can't you ride in the daytime? No. Ride it no. No. <laughs> yeah. 
with helmet, without a helmet, it doesn't matter. Arizona is just too hot to... It's very, yeah. Got to be inside under the AC all the time, but... I can't tell you how many times I've been to the Yuma prison run, but every time you go there, it's just like the sweat and dirt. It's like... It's the worst. I love that prison, though. A lot of history. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There's things I learned there that I never even guessed would have happened to the females. God, yeah. Hey, we don't need to talk about all this crap. We're <laughs> working on bikes. <laughs> Get your own channel. <laughs> well, I wanted to let you know. Thank you, thank you, thank you. It's well appreciated. Yeah, I'm still sunburned, too. Uh, so am I. Have you seen my face and my neck and yours is all over, too? <laughs> yeah, I was on the for three hours. Nice, nice dinner at a nice restaurant. <laughs> you gotta take him out. <laughs> <laughs> that ain't happening. <laughs> all right. Okay, our wires are in. Coils are in. You missed all that, I'm sure. No, I was I was recording the whole time. Okay, so you can put them underneath there like that. You can, or you can open it up like that a little bit. Better. Nothing's touching. Right, that's good. Good with that. So ignition should be a little better now, hopefully. Test purposes where you put the plug back in there and you lay them up there where you can see them and get something. You want me to kick it over? Make it more smoky, smoky. Alright. I didn't say doing this stuff. What are you doing? Oh, I thought we were getting a spark test. What do I need to do a spark test? I've got those ports I'm working on. <laughs> You're skipping ahead about 15 stages. <laughs> supposed to be videotaped and not tell me how to do my job. <laughs> Masters at work here. I don't know what I'm doing already. He's a panhead, knucklehead surgeon, San Diego. Okay, so now we got to figure out we make this wire stay where something's going to go spark again. Okay. Preferably we can see there. It'll go spark. I don't know if I can see it. Okay. So now we got the uh, this side of the bike kind of put together a little bit. Why do you get this late model crop in here again? Uh, we got to dig him out of his grave and ask him. <laughs> Mike, Mike Eagle. That was uh it's supposed to be a hex nut, not these stupid Allen's. Yeah. I forgot to tell you that the brushes are in the garage too. Okay. <laughs> It'll be the next coat. Alright. Not today though. That is a professional. That man is a professional right here. Hundred percent. He, he, he's a professional. This man right here, doing you your bike? Yep. And that's your bike, right? Yep. <laughs> you know what what's not to be on camera and thing, off camera and everything like that, but that man's a professional. Yes, he is, and, and that's that, why I'm here, man. And, and, and that man right there, he's quiet. You know why it's quiet? Because professionals don't talk. Exactly. We got good feedback around the neighborhood from pedestrians. You know what a professional means? It means you get paid. <laughs> yep. Well, you got your PhD in the in this world, man, you got your doctors. You're the guy. You see the torque wrench I'm using? Oh, yeah. You see my torque wrench there? Hands a torque wrench. Let's see, you had yours loose. Set. Yeah. It's memorized. Muscle memory right there. Okay, they're, they're torque now. Yeah. Okay. Let's see, while we're over here, we can check some other stuff. 